going on guys? I recorded a back session um, in, in the gym. It's not the full workout that I did, but um, uh, it's a couple couple exercises. It's really um, difficult, like the angles, because the equipment's so spread out, I can't really put the camera on equipment um, like I would usually do to record myself because it's the way that the gym is set up. It's, it's really weird. But in a couple weeks, I should have a gym partner when he gets back from TAD, so uh, hopefully we can get some pretty good footage in. But I bought a new camera. I'll I'll go over that later on, probably in the next video or two. But I got a new camera. I'm trying it out, seeing how I like it. Uh, it's the uh, Nokia Nokia Cool Picks, I believe it is. I believe it's called. Has like the flip screen. Um, it's considered like a selfie camera. So I'm hoping that um, it's good for for YouTube and. Uh, just kind of trying it out and seeing if I like it, seeing if it's worth it. If it's not, I'm, I may take it back. But today's been a busy day. I went and picked up my sponsor. Uh, I took a 10:30 ferry and the plane itself didn't land until 1700. So I was there for a long time at the terminal. Took a couple naps and uh, everything went pretty good once he once he got there though, because we we were able to check him into the command and uh, tomorrow we'll we'll start you know his process for ch checking in here at Cuba. So, um, yeah, busy day. I got to go. It's about 12.50. So, uh, p.m. I have uh, two discussion papers that I have to do for class. And go ahead and get those finished tonight. So, it's going to be a long night. And I have class tomorrow. Just uh, a type of class at work tomorrow. So, hopefully, I can get that done tonight. One. I definitely need to get one. Hopefully, I can get both of them done. And, yeah, we'll see. Luckily, I, but hope you all enjoy the the back footage that I recorded. Like I said, it's not everything, but hope you enjoy it. Alright guys, so I am here watching the video on the other side of the screen, so I apologize if it looks like I'm looking off to the side, but um, you'll see here doing some pull-ups. I like to warm up with these when I do back still. Um, usually two sets, I'll do wide grip, so kind of like as if you're doing your, your pull-downs. So instead of having your hands here, I usually have them wider, so I'll just... With the wide grip pull ups for two sets, usually to failure, and then I'll do inner grip with a 20 pound weight on my feet. And I'll do that for, let's say, I think it's about four to six. And then I'll drop the weight and try to get between two to four more with, with body weight. And I'll do that for two sets. Then you see here, pull downs. I superset 12 and 12. So 12, as you see me here, with the front pull downs. And then with a reverse grip, which I do here, I'll do that for 12, and I do that for four sets. Um, it's, it's drop sets, so you'll go uh, 12 and 12 with that same with that same weight. Um, oh, excuse me, 12, 12, and 12 at the beginning, doing your fronts. So you increase the weight between five to 10 pounds each one, and then on set two, three, and four, you'll do 12 and 12 with the front with the front wide pull down, and then superset it with a close pull down. <clears throat> uh, you ta this targets a lot of the lats whenever you're working when you superset it because you're already exhausted, tired because um, it's predominantly it's not super heavy weight but it's enough to where you're feeling it halfway through those uh, those reps you have to do it's just another angle so you can see um, like I told you at the beginning of the video it's hard to get good angles at this gym because a lot of people are there, so they're walking around. The way the equipment is spread out, it's not set up where you can just set a camera and face it at you without it interfering with other people. Because we have all the all the branches here on the base use this one gym, so uh, it's very populated. Even though I try to go late at night when I want to record because that's when there's less people, but it's still still the same because people are getting off of work, you know, just working all around the clock. Now you see here, super set, 
I like to go fall underneath it because as you see right now, it stretches those lats. It stretches that front lat. So whenever you pull it up, the fall underneath it. It's going to stretch it because whenever you pull it up, you just leave it here. You're resting your lat. So you fall underneath it, contracts the, contracts the lat. Alright, after I did those four sets there, then I came and did some uh, cable, um, anything, close grip. Cable pulls, I believe it is. Cable rows, I guess you could tell us. Uh, 20, 20 reps for four sets. And I also super set, so I did 20. And then I super set with the wide bar. So with the bar you'd use on the lap pull downs, I super set um, 10 to 12 uh, kind of face pulls with that wide bar. So as you see here, it changes out. Try to pull up. So, because if you just pull straight, you'll be a little under nipple line. So you want to pull it. You want to pull it high. As you're pulling it, make sure you keep that that back contracted. Your scapula. Make sure you keep that contracted. So as you're pulling, boom. Uh, you usually take a between 45 to minute rest. Jump back into it. 20 to 21. And then you superset that with those wide pulls, face pulls with uh, 10 to 12 reps. So also, if y'all have any questions, I'm trying to think of some videos to give y'all for information. If you have any questions about uh, Navy, like boot camp, um, shipping out, so those that haven't shipped out yet, Cuba, you want to know anything uh, that you're probably interested in fitness related or just military related or just life uh, comment message me I'll be free to uh, you know answer any questions and to uh, do like videos for whatever you guys would like to be informed of um, I love these right here with the barbell rows uh, I feel like this works a lot with um, if your form is good you're not gonna feel it in your lower back so I'd like to do 10 to 12 of these I feel like since I've started implementing these uh, consistently every week, I make sure I hit these at least once or twice a week. And I, I do back. Uh, it feels like that. If I do this for four sets, it feels like that is what gives me that thickness uh, that I, I feel that people point out in my back. Because a lot of people don't do those. As you see here, the difference here is your um, undergrip. And whenever you do these, it doesn't look like you're really doing anything, but mind to muscle, you're squeezing the back of that. All right, guys, that is it. I'm out. See you all in the next video. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.